Home Remedies presents Did you know your stomach acid can dissolve a razor blade? The stomach is the organ that digests the food we eat with its ability to get rid of bacteria and other harmful things that enter with food. The stomach acid consists of hydrochloric acid, potassium chloride, and sodium chloride. It also kills bacteria, activates enzymes, and has a pH of 1.5 and 3.5, making it very strong acid. But did you know that this acid in your stomach is so strong that it can even dissolve metal? Hydrochloric acid acts as the first line of defense against bacterial and viral infections. How strong is stomach acid? The pH of a healthy stomach is usually 1 to 2. This low pH level of stomach fluids typically keeps it free of microbes. But at the same time, these pH levels put stomach acid in almost the same category as battery acid, which can dissolve steel. Scientists have experimented with razor blades by putting them in an acid-stimulating juice to see how best to deal with them if swallowed accidentally. The researchers found that 24 hours later, razor blades lost their original weight and became 63% of its weight and became fragile. But if the acid is so strong, how can your stomach hold it without the acid eating right through? Your stomach is essentially meat, right? At least, it is made of proteins. Well, the truth is that your stomach acid would happily digest your stomach if given a chance. The stomach has a protective lining. This lining consists of a layer of mucosal protein. Just think of mucus. That is covered with molecules of sugar, held together tightly through the magic of chemical bonds. The sugars are really good at resisting the acid. You have a bunch of specialized epithelial cells that produce this mucus stuff. It's not perfect protection and some stomach acid gets through now and again. Due to a lot of blood flow in the stomach wall, it helps to neutralize and wash away some of the acid, but it still does damage and it destroys some of the cells of the stomach. In fact, a whole lot of your stomach cells get destroyed all the time. Thankfully, they are such busy little buggers when it comes to reproducing themselves. They do not take days off, at least normally. When cells are damaged, newly generated cells move up to take their place. In fact, the entire stomach lining is replaced about every three days. When things go wrong and the mucus lining is damaged, and more acid than normal gets through, damage can occur faster than cells can be renewed and thus a sore or even a hole can form. This is called an ulcer. People used to think that ulcers were caused by a bad diet. Spicy foods or fatty acids were often blamed, as well as cigarette smoking, alcohol consumption and just a predisposition of producing excess stomach acid. While there is not a lot of evidence that food habits or stress cause ulcers, some of these other factors may be at work. Mostly though these earlier beliefs about the causes of ulcers were a matter of correlation. It is true that the pain and discomfort of ulcers can get worsen when we eat spicy foods, drink alcohol, or during periods of stress. The theory now is that the most common cause of an ulcer is a bacterial infection. It usually happens when the stomach becomes infected with a bacteria called Heliobacter pylori, H. pylori. Most of us already have these bacteria in our digestive tract. These bugs can secrete an enzyme around them that protects them from the stomach acid and then they can invade the mucosal layer, taking up residence there and weakening the stomach lining, allowing too much acid to leak through, resulting in an ulcer. That is why one of the standard treatments of ulcers today is an antibiotic. If you liked the video, Hit that like button to give it more value and share it on your social networks to let others benefit from it too. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.